Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Toy Wizards. And today we're not doing a spontaneous toy review. We're doing an unboxing. Meaning I'm going to take something out of a box and then I'm going to put it back in the box. I'm not opening anything. So you're fair warned right there. These are all items that I was able to get from Comic-Con that we did not go to. All part of Super 7's Shop at Homicon. And I did. In fact, I got an entire box today and I wanted to share with you what I got inside that box. Because they're fantastic. Right, the box is a little tall. Maybe we'll put it down on the ground. First off, out of the box, bam. Hoverboard. This is your Marty McFly from Back to the Future 2. Comes with his hoverboard. It's got his inside out pockets, his jacket, his holographic hat, and the card is shaped like a hoverboard and it's metallic. Fantastic! We did an article on these. They sold out for Comic Con, but another vendor still has some. There's the link. Got it? Well, it's in the comments. Don't worry about it. If you can get a hold of one of these, you want to because you will kick yourself if you don't get one later down the line because the Back to the Future line is, of course, great. But these new Back to the Future 2, 2, are even better. So, hey, fantastic. It's going over here. I'm never opening that. And don't worry, I bought two. Yep. Set that right there. Those are fantastic. What? Oh, yeah. Really nice. Absolutely nice. The new Marty McFly figure looks great. His hoverboard looks great. I love, there's even a little sticker here. It says Marty McFly action figure. I just love the fact that they got that little print on there. There's no Mattel logo, obviously. But, uh, wow. Just wow. Just wow. Comic-Con would have been so amazing this year. Um, at least we do get the benefit of some of this stuff afterwards. And here we go. This piece almost made me cry. Almost made me cry. Spike on a giant cactus card. I always love Snoopy and Spike. And I love the fact that Spike hung around Cactus because I grew up in the desert and there I'm like, hey, Cactus, desert, Spike's cool. And here he comes on this giant Cactus card. Super 7 is a real innovator for packaging design. Not just their, their you know, great ideas for toys. They're made to order toys. They're, hey, we're going to let you buy these as many as you want. And then we cut off the order and we ship them to you. It's a great model, especially these days when everything is selling out. And here is Spike on this incredible card. And this is just so beautiful. It's so great that they took the time to make something like this. I'm gonna have a hard time finding a star case for it, but it is really, really nice. Man, that's so cool. I just love these to pieces. They really, really just hit everything out of the park this year. Let's reach into my box. We got a little sticker. That was a freebie. Ah, we got a little uh, pin. That was another freebie. What else do we got in here? We got a giant turtle towel. Now this, this is something I will open if I can figure out how to open it. I love giant themed beach towels. And this is a giant turtle themed beach towel. And it basically is like the wax pack for the old trading cards. So that is fantastic. And it is the size of a small blanket. Really nice. That's for me, absolutely forever for me. However, I don't use them as towels. I generally drape them over doors like tapestries. What else is in my box of magic? Boom. Here we go. Weird science. This is Chet as his shit toad. I always called him shit frog, but shit toad works too. And this one glows in the dark. 
it glows in the dark. Bam. Weird Science is a new license they have coming out, just like Back to the Future 2. At Comic-Con, we got kind of previews of some of these pieces, and you could buy them early. However, you had to buy it all at home. This next piece is a fantastic piece of card art. Just, wow, I know I've been saying fantastic, incredible. All this stuff is gold. And here is Papa from Ghost, right? Yeah. Papa from Ghost on this reverse card with gold inlay bits. He's got a gold uh, uh, saxophone there and a nice new tempo print on him as well. This is a really spectacularly nice card. It's one of those things that you expect to get only at Comic-Con and now Comic-Con's gone and so are these. Wow, this is nice. That is really nice. Do I have anything else? I do. I've got one more piece and I was saving it for last because it's so neat. Here is your ultimate Baxter Stockman figure, but this is the Comic-Con version. So let's try to get them out of this box, out of the shipping box. I'm not going to take them out of box box. That's just crazy. I do have a fascination for glow items. I love anything that glows. I would generally buy it. And I even have a lamp in my hallway where it has like a little big giant bowl, you know? And I filled that, like it's overflowing with glow stuff. So then when you turn off the hallway light, boom, that lamp still glows green. Everything glows green, it's really neat. This is the Ultimates Baxter Stockman figure. Um, has some glow-in-the-dark stuff here around the packaging and around the turtle logo. It is slide box. There we go. And boom, we got ourselves a Baxter Stockman. His lab coat is like pearlescent, which I didn't know. And um, everything else is glow, that's really neat. So, wow, you know, that is neat. It's a very clear, like blue glow. So it's changed up a little bit, but uh, wow, that is really, really nice. All of these figures are exceedingly nice, exceedingly neat. And, um, oh, there's more glow on the back packaging too. Of course, all of these Ultimate figures, Super 7 really goes all out. They generally do a make to order. So that means you want a Baxter stock and you want one of the other lines. You have X amount of days to order it and then they make to order. You don't have to worry about scalpers getting them. You don't have to worry about not getting your order in. As long as you order it, pay for it, they will ship it to you. And this is the Comic-Con version of Baxter, which I really like because he was glow. I really like because of the color choices, the color palette, and the fact that this is a Comic-Con exclusive. So that is my Super 7 haul part one. I still have more on the way, but this is part one. And uh, I hope you enjoy taking a look at some of this stuff. I am going to do the smart thing and pack it all carefully into a box and then put that box in a garage and never look at it again. Yeah. Except for Spike. I've got to find somewhere to put Spike. I just, I love that Spike. I will find somewhere on a wall. I will make room for Spike. Yes, I will absolutely make room. I don't know where I'm going to put that towel yet, but uh, I'm sure I can cover something with it. So remember everybody, Toy Dash Wizards for your daily toy news. Thank you for watching me do this unboxing video where I took everything out of a box. That's an unboxing as far as I'm concerned.